حرمت اہل بیت و اصحاب محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کانفرنس The first ever conference on the plains of Southern Africa to be, Alhamdulillah, for the dignity and integrity for both the individuals of the family members of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the members of the doorsteps, Alhamdulillah, the courtyard, the companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Alhamdulillah, honor Ezaz for Rajab Islamic Center to be, Alhamdulillah, getting this opportunity always to present something unique, Alhamdulillah, for the listeners, first ever Tahafuz-e-Namusay Risalat Conference on, South, in, on Southern Africa. In South Africa, it's under the banner of Rajab Islamic Center. First ever Labbaik Ya Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Conference under the banner of Rajab Islamic Center. First ever, Alhamdulillah, Tajdare Khatme Nabuwat Conference that is also under the banner of Rajab Islamic Center. First ever, Alhamdulillah, this great opportunity conference for the dignity and integrity of the companions and Ahlul Bayt of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that is also under the banner of Rajab Islamic Center and this credit goes to two great personalities Alhamdulillah Hazrat Khalifa Majaz Barili Sharif, Hazrat Mulana Raja Sahib, Qadri Rizvi Barqati Nuri and Hazrat Qibla Mufti Naseem Ashraf Habibi Sahib Damat Waqatam Al Qudusiya with them Alhamdulillah the great Hazrat Mulana Hafiz Hamza Khan Al Qadri Sahib and Alhamdulillah a surprise for you all as well then inshallah with the father of Allah Mufti Naseem Ashraf Habibi Sahib the Grand Mufti of Southern Africa will be participating today in today's conference alhamdulillah with the father of allah that will be our main guest speaker alhamdulillah last night as well alhamdulillah congratulations to rajab islamic center for having a successful parents meeting for those students and parents those are coming to madras sayas Uliya. those are coming to achieve this unique knowledge of aqaid that tomorrow if you will go if you will die they will not just dump you like a dirt they will read for you. Wow. And Alhamdulillah, this is Ezaz of this unique center, the only center, Alhamdulillah, who is uplifting, who is there for the Aqaid of Ahlul Sunnah, that is Rajab Islamic Center. Wow. And I'm proudly saying that, Alhamdulillah, that there will be no insulter of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in your family if your son or daughter is coming here in this institute. Wow. To seek the Rahmat of Allah by praising Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And this is not just thing, if this was Maqsood, if this was the Tariqah to bow down in front of Munafiks and hypocrites of Ahlul Sunnah, then Hazrat Sayyid Yala Hazrat wouldn't be saying that Dushman Ahmad pe shiddat ki ji hai. Allah Hazrat se bada mujiddit to nahi hai na aaj. To ye Allah Hazrat ka tariqa hai ke Dushman Ahmad pe shiddat ki ji hai. Mulhidon ki kya murafat ki ji hai. Zikr unka chhedi hai har baat mein. Chhedna shaitan ko adat ki ji hai. This is the tariqa of the companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam their zikr we are making today and ahlul bayt of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that they never pardoned the gustaf of Rasulullah and insulter of their Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala They stood for the integrity and dignity of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where we fight each other for the sake of land where we fight each other for the sake of name, fame, property, honor. Why couldn't we stand against someone for the sake of the integrity of Rasulullah? Wasallam. And this is the tariqah of Ahlul Sunnah ke hame dono se muhabbat karni. We have to love Ahlul Bayt as well and we have to love companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa We cannot, ya Rasulullah sallallahu we cannot keep adawat against someone by loving the others, no. We have to love Ahlul Bayt as well, kyunke ye ghar ke hai. And we have to love companion as well, kyunke wo dhar ke hai. Lekin, by being loyal to the court of Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, namaz achi, haj achha, roza aur zakat achi, magar mein bawajud iske musalman ho nahi sakta. Na jab tak kat manu, kha jaye batha ki izzat par. Na jab tak میں اصحابِ محمد کی عزت پر نہ جب تک کٹ مروں میں اہلِ بیتِ محمد کی عزت پر خدا شاہد ہے کہ کامل میرا ایمان ہو نہیں سکتا I would never be 
a complete Muslim if I love Ahlul Bayt and insult Ashab. I will never be a complete Mu'min if I go and stand with companions and insult the Ahlul Bayt of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Hame dono ke saath Allah. Kyunke najm hai Ashab Muhammad aur nao hai Ahlul Bayt Muhammad. This is also the call of Sayyidi Allah Hazrat. Isi liye دشمنی کا معیار حضور کے لیے ہونا چاہیے وَن نبی اکرم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم have performed the janaza of the munafiq عبید اللہ بن عبی then the verse of Quran came کہ oh محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم from now onwards you are not allowed to perform the janaza of a hypocrite بقائدہ بندش قرآن کے اندر آئی اس لیے جو محمد کے مستاق کا یار ہے اس کا جنازہ بھی ہم پر حرام ہے جو محمد کے اہل بیت کا مستاق ہے اس کا بھی جنازہ ہم پر حرام ہے اور جو محمد کے اصحاب کا مستاق ہے اس کا بھی جنازہ پر ہم پر حرام ہے اور جو اولیاء کی محبت سے آری ہے اس کا بھی جنازہ ہم پر حرام ہے اس کو اپنا شعار بنائیے this is اہل سننا this is اہل سننا کہ جو فیصلہ کر لیا جائے اس پر ندامت نہ ہو کیونکہ یہ فیصلہ اصحاب محمد کے لیے ہے اہل بیت محمد کے لیے ہے اصحاب محمد کے لیے ہے اولیاء امت محمد کے لیے ہے اسی کے صدقے اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی will forgive our marhums and will forgive our shortcomings and our صغیرہ and قبیرہ گناہ جب ہمارا تعلق اصحاب محمد سے بھی ہوگا when our connection, our bond will be strong with the courtyard of Ahlul Bayt of Rasulullah صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم and the best companion of Prophet Muhammad صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم with that, Alhamdulillah, last night they were also great zikr of three great personalities die hard lover of Rasulullah صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم فتف نمبر ون حضرت مولانا عبد السطار خان نیازی رحمت اللہ علیہ وسلم one of an alim of his caliber who stands for the namus of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then we had Ursipaq celebration, alhamdulillah, for Hazrat Ghazi Amir Abdul Rahman Chima Shaheed Rahmatullah alayhi wa sallam. A brother of three sisters, a naujawan, a young individual who traveled right to Germany to finish who? The one who insult his Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then we had Alhamdulillah Zikr of Mere Ustad Alhamdulillah Hazrat Qibla Mulana Turab Ali Qadri Sahib Rahmatullah Alayhi Ta'ala Alhamdulillah Whatever the knowledge Alhamdulillah of the Qiraat of Quran This Nachi is possessed This is through the Faizan of Hazrat Mulana Turab Ali Qadri Rahmatullah Alayhi Ta'ala So three great personalities Alhamdulillah And the Zikr of these three great personalities is also mentioned Alhamdulillah on social media on network as well So please this is the need of the time Alhamdulillah, this is the need of the time for us to be united under the banner of Ahlu Sunnah Wal Jamaah. This is the need of the time that the ulama needs to be our protected. They need to be more curious when they open their zuban against the companions of Rasulullah. When they open their zuban against the Ahlul Bayt of Rasulullah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, believe me, this is the only sect which paves our way towards Jannatul Firdaus. Which paves our way in such a way that in Ahlul Sunnah Wal Jamaah you will never hear something speaking ill about the Ahlul Bayt of Rasulullah. In Ahlul Sunnah Wal Jamaah you will never hear speaking something, someone about the knowledge of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. In Ahlul Sunnah Wal Jamaah you will never hear someone picking finger upon the blessed companions of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And in Ahlul Sunnah Wal Jamaah you will never hear someone have uttering kufar kalamat against the awliya of awliya of the ummah of Rasulullah and the aima of the ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa and our differences with other sects are not just that they don't read salami and we read salami this is also a concept growing in our brains it's not because they don't celebrate milad and we celebrate milad, milad. no it is about the rubbish statements their forefathers have narrated in their books. And what are those statements? I might be taking your time. I will in like few, full of nows with Allah, those statements. Number first, that there is a possibility that Allah can speak lie. Then the knowledge of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam less than the knowledge of shaitan. Only God! And we can give you proof as well. 
Then go further. Nabi Akram Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam does not know what happens behind the wall. These are the statements made by these deviant sects and Ahlul Sunnah standing firmly against them. For who? For the sake of your children. They shouldn't be straight. They should be steadfast on Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama. And more further you find the uttering, making statements against the beloved wives of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Against the best companions of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So if they don't read Salami, that is not the difference. The difference is the statements of their forefathers that till today they are backing those statements up. They are not saying nothing about those statements which are in the kutub of their forefathers. Inshallah, Ahlul Sunnah, Deviant Sex ka taqtub takta rehega. Jab tak jaan me jaan rehegi, ye ahle bhaith me bhi gurban rehegi. Aur ashabe Rasulullah bhi bhi gurban rehegi. Inshallah, 